here we go, we've had the phone call, we're off and running again. Queen's on the move. I think I bought 40 of the bloody things, so oh, it's going to be a hectic couple of days. Shall we ring the bell? <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> morning, morning, morning. They How did are? have your phone number on there too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they did. Well yeah. done. Oh my golly gosh. Look at that. A bush bee man. I've even got my name on my own post box. How cool is that? <laughs> Good luck to me, I think. Holy hell. Hopefully they're all good. Oh, well, we'll find out. Some of them will be good. They're reasonably warm in there too, which is kind of cool. Okay, yeah, hey, this is going to be a busy couple of days. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. The Bush Bee Company. So anyway, just as a footnote, if you want to send me some fan mail or a postcard or something we could ask that we could put up, there is. Send it to that address. And you never know, your photo or your letter or whatever it is might get on the show. Anyway, here we go. We're just gonna do a bit of queen hunting. We got our new queens. This little this little row of bees are some of these queens are just a little bit too stupid to keep hold of. So we've decided that we're gonna import some new blood. So we're going to have to unthrone the queen that's on board and introduce them to their new boss and make them a bit more workable. <laughs> so if you're just fooling around in your backyard. It's not such a bad idea to buy some bees from somebody who's rearing some cool ones that aren't quite so toey. But then again, it's fun catching swarms too, so oh, what would I know? Cool. Anyway, so we're just going to work our way along this row because these girls are the ones we're going to replace. So we've just got to find Her Majesty in each box, so that could take us a while. And just as a footnote, for all you people that wonder about my smoker and the fact that it doesn't smoke all the time, Half the time that's because we're full arsing around reshooting and reshooting the shot and then I go back to get me bloody smoker and it's not smoking so I'm not necessarily as useless a smoker maintainer as people would assume. But on another note... So you're blaming me? <laughs> gotta blame somebody. Don't wanna blame myself. Nah, anyway, it's all good. Um, I wanna show you this though, this is more important. The other day we had this bloody great dust storm and wind and carry on and then this ridiculous big blooming rain hit us like I don't know we got about three mils in about three minutes and so because we've been in a bit under the pump and these laces ended up here on the dirt instead of on a stand the blooming dirt splashed up onto their boxes being that they're tidy folk <laughs> they're actually cleaning off the dirt from where they land and then I've swept off they've done their little sweep up and they've cleaned up their front of their box but you can see the lasses coming and going have cleaned up this little circle so this is, they all were covered in crap all around, but now they've cleaned themselves off. I wonder if they've got little brooms on their legs and they could do a little bit of brushing. You, you go out and sweep the front porch. <laughs> anyway, we might as well start at the start, mightn't we? As you can see, this might be a montage moment because otherwise we could be here for a while. Oh, God. <laughs> Loves me, everybody hates me. <laughs> That's what we're gonna sing, aren't we, in a minute? Oh lordy, look at that lot in the lid. There's a bit of bad beekeeping. Yeah, yes, Mr. Bush Bean. Anyway, we will start at the start and see what we can find. A bloody yard full of bees. <laughs> I think we might get a bee sting today somehow. That is not sensible. Bloody sensible at all, bush bee man. Oh, there's one already. Look at that. Get out of it. Go on. Walk her off, you lot. Just settle, settle, petals. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Come on, you angry little turds. Honestly. You're not long for this world, Queen. There's a stupid. Ow! I think I should have worn a thicker shirt. <laughs> oh, what fun! Oh, what joy! 
but not really. It's bloody psycho, actually. Look at them crazy buggers. Bit of sugar, bit of smoke, bit of I don't bloody know what I'm doing. <laughs> They're insanely angry, this lot. Oh. Don't do this when your neighbour's having a barbecue. Where, where would you be, angry pants? back the other way and then we'll put the lid on and we'll just make sure we put some mark on this to make sure we know that we didn't kill the queen of this one so but as you can see they're not very workable <laughs> it's a little bit crazy and my sugar water doesn't do much good either <laughs> I want to know about that Here we go! Yo! Bloody hell! Oh, you poor unfortunate! There she be! You just do that, and because these are such excitable little ladies, we don't really want to keep her gene pool. So we're going to just take her off and pop her somewhere nice and safe, like in a matchbox. drop her back in the bloody box. Come over here. <laughs> Sorry, Miss E. <laughs> so we've let the ladies settle down for a couple of days after we disposed of their leader. So we're gonna, and then we're gonna put our new queen in, which we've got all the way from New South Wales, in orange, would you believe? Which is actually black, not orange, so that's gonna be cool. Anyway, she's coming in this little packet and we're gonna slip her in the box in a minute. I've actually got a little matchstick and put a hole in the candy cane just to give them a bit of encouragement. But you don't always have to do that. It just pays to try that out because some of the candy cane you get 
in the queen boxes are like super hard and the ladies can't get out. And that's sort of suck if they get stuck in there. Try not to pull the wooden cork out because that's supposed to stay in there. Because you pull that out, of course then she buggers off or she'll get out too quick. Because you want them in here for a couple of days. So then the smell wanders around the box and then the girls all go, hello, we've got a new boss. And hopefully, well, yes, then she'll be much nicer. We might actually be able to work the bloody things. Anyway, we'll pop the lid off. There we go, everybody's excited. Hello, boss. <laughs> and you just want to prize a bit of a spot in here. Make sure you don't get the face all covered by honeycomb or wax or crap. So you, she needs to be able to breathe. So you want to make sure you've got a bit of a gap. Because you if you see in here, you don't want it pushing against the, the comb that's sticking out, the big heat. You want a bit of a hole. There's a nice little hole there, so we're going to pop her in that corner. Like that. The ladies in the box will dig out, and the ladies in this box will dig in. And the next thing you know, she'll be free. And we'll have queen bees from orange. Oh, in our little orange. <laughs> no, that was crap. <laughs> We're gonna clean this lid up afterwards. <laughs> now we decided to keep this one, so we're not gonna put one in that one, but we're just gonna go along, put them in, and then, da-da, da-da, time to go home and have a drink. Thing is in the glove. I think that's why the ladies need a new boss. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Anyway, onward and upward. <laughs> I reckon that's nearly enough for a Saturday. My goodness me. This has been a bit of a... I'm glad it's Sunday tomorrow. I might even have a day off if I don't get a swarm called. Anyway, if you happen to have a swarm in your backyard, not a swarm, if you happen to have a hive that was a swarm and it's in your backyard, in your hive, and it's a bit silly, you might consider ordering yourself a bit friendlier queen online. And then all you've got to do is find the old grumpy girl and pop her off and put in your new girl and next thing you know, you've got a whole lot of happy girls in your backyard. <laughs>